Hey everybody, anybody who's been using the Elementor page builder in WordPress for probably about more than five minutes will have discovered the negative margin hack which allows you to create these image overlay effects. But I'm going to show you another and possibly better way of doing this. So in the back end I've already got a two column section set up and there's some padding on the outer section and the two columns have got one with text and one with a transparent ping in it. And a simple process is to select the section, go to advanced, don't apply any custom classes, and we're just going to jump into the CSS where I've already put in selector and the first curly brace. And basically that says apply whatever these properties are in here to that section. So all we're going to do is set the height to 400 pixels, and immediately we can see that the column with the image in it is now overhanging the background section. So we're already halfway there, and we can use padding, etc., to be able to adjust the position of this image if we so wish, but a better way and an easier way, let's add another copy of this column. Let's remove its content and now we have another column that we can use to tweak our positioning. So fairly simple and very quickly, we've already got our overhang image. I'm just gonna quickly save that and then we're gonna have a look at the responsive views. So when we jump to tablet, we can see we don't quite have enough overhang. So with this particular element, we're just gonna reduce down the size of this to as small as we can possibly get. And then on this particular section, we're gonna increase the size of it. And there we go, we've got our overhang. Let's give it a little bit more. So let's quickly now jump over to mobile and see what happens. And we can see there's it's probably hanging out a little bit too far. So we just need to adjust the padding for the mobile. So let's break the padding open on the mobile view and add a smaller padding top of let's say 40 pixels. So there we go. We now have our responsive overlay, all in one section, no negative margins. And what we find the benefits is, is when we come to add another section, we don't have the issues that we may do when we want to kind of edit the content of any UIs being blocked out. So, but just to cover ourselves, we might want to just put a little bit of margin to the bottom of our section. So we can just force that one out of the way. So it's fairly simple takes all of about 10 seconds to do that and avoids all those aggravation. And we can take it one step further. So let's just quickly duplicate this section. Let's remove our spacer. Let's move this over to the outside. And within the column, we're gonna go and apply some dreaded negative margins. And what we're gonna do is gonna tell this to move up, let's say by 250 pixels, 20 pixels I reckon we'll do, and there we go we have two images in the same section, both hanging out in different directions of the box. And normally this would have taken three sections to do so, and two negative margin hacks, which would have caused you all sorts of pain when it comes to be able to edit the content. But as we can see, we can actually grab hold of every single section and element without much pain or any difficulty. So I'm hoping this little trick will help you out in your designs and save you that negative margin blues. And that's all from me.